This comet isn't expected to return to the inner solar system for another 80,000 years. So that's why it's kind of like... What do you mean by the inner solar system? No idea. <laughs> it's the solar system. Not the outer one. It's the inner the one. The outer solar system is... So you may get the chance to see it tonight if you get the right weather conditions. So let's check in with Weather Impact Team meteorologist Corey Repenhagen. There will be clearer skies tonight on the front range. Less clouds means more people might be able to see this thing. The Suchin Chan Atlas Comet is what it's called. Suchin Chan's a bit of a tongue twister, so a lot of people are just calling it the T Atlas Comet. But it doesn't matter what you call this thing because it's not going to be in our neighborhood for another 80,000 years. I took this shot last night from my roof in Arvada. You can see the uh, comet here in the long tail. If you look to the west, about 30 to 40 minutes after sunset, slightly to the west, southwest, look up, you'll be able to see that comet tail. Let your eyes kind of get situated and focus on that. We should be able to see this thing for the next seven nights here, but there are a couple of catches to it. It appears a little further southwest each night, and it also gets a little bit higher in the sky each night, and it gets a little further from the earth every night. So it, it, I really feel like the next two or three nights here along the front range is your best opportunity to see this thing. Once it gets closer to October 21st, you're gonna have to get to a very dark place. And then after that, you're gonna need telescope or binoculars to see this thing. So it's a great chance here to see something spectacular in our sky along the front range tonight. I'm meteorologist Corey Repenhagen for the Nine News Weather Impact Team.